how do I become more successful quicker? That was a question that was just asked by somebody that I personally coach, and I thought about that. And there's so many different answers to it. And one of the answers I'm gonna give you as I'm just chilling here in the Maldives right now, um, sometimes it's good to have that rest and relaxation. You get to clear your mind. And as I thought about all the hard work I put in and how would I teach my former self how to have success quicker? Like, What are some of the things that I would say? And some of the things are gonna sound really, really cliche, but cliches are cliches for a reason because they're timeless principles. Think about that, they're timeless principles. So let's talk about this here for a second. The first thing is, is I want you to think about the concept that you've probably already heard before. Fail faster. And as John Maxwell says, fail forward faster. Think about it. How do you get better in inviting and following up and closing and uh, handling objections? You fail forward faster. It's not like somebody can just go study how to play the piano for a thousand hours and be great at playing the piano unless they actually play the piano. And in network marketing, too many people, they do this. And you hear me talk about this time and time again. So fail forward faster. The second thing is, is we've heard about the 1,000, or sorry, the 10,000 hour rule. You've probably heard of it. It takes 10,000 hours to become an expert at anything. Well, I wanna challenge you on that. It's not just 10,000 hours. It's 10,000 hours of deliberate practice. So we're gonna talk about 10,000 hours of deliberate practice. Think about this. It can't just be going through the emotions and just saying, you know what? I'm just gonna fail forward faster. Now that's good. That's good. You need to fail forward faster, but you got to fail forward faster and smarter and learn from all the mistakes and learn from all the successes and learn what can I do better and how can I make this happen or that happen and what do I mean by that? Very specifically, let's say that you invite 30 people to look at your business and only two take a look at it. Well, what did you do well? What did you do poorly? Can you record yourself? Maybe your voice messages, maybe it's a text that you're sending, maybe you can send it to your couple of your upline leaders, some of them, and ask, okay, what am I doing well here? What am I doing poorly? How can I do better? That's the ability to learn how to learn is the greatest ability one can have. So it's deliberate practice, which goes into time management, but also I like to call it energy management. Because, you know, I think all the time we talk about time management, which is super important, but you gotta look at, you gotta manage your energy as well. So first off, yes, with your time, what are the most important tasks you're gonna do? When are you gonna do them? Are they marked out in your calendar? Are they marked out in your schedule? Because if they're not, they're not gonna happen. And then after that, you gotta look at when do you have the most energy? So if the number one income producing activity is talking to brand new people, well great, I'm gonna talk to brand new people.